Hey there, machining enthusiasts. If you're looking to improve your end milling game, you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of flute count in end mills and how it can affect your machining performance. First, let's start with the basics. Traditionally, end mills came in two, three, and four flute designs. Two flute end mills were great for soft materials like aluminum and plastic, while four flute end mills were great for harder materials. Nowadays, we have even more options, with end mills available in five, six, seven, or even eight flute designs. So, what does flute count mean for your machining performance? Well, more flutes means more cutting edges and a higher feed rate, which can lead to higher metal removal rates, improved surface finishes, and longer tool life. However, more flutes also means smaller chip loads per flute, which can cause higher cutting forces, more heat, and increased deflection. It can also lead to less room for chip evacuation, which can cause clogging and poor performance. So, what flute count should you choose? The answer depends on a variety of factors, such as material type, depth of cut, and tool diameter. As a general rule, two flute end mills are best for soft materials, while four flute end mills are a good all-around choice. Five or six flute end mills are best for hard materials, while seven or eight flute end mills are best for finishing operations. Of course, there are other factors to consider when selecting an end mill, such as coating, helix angle, and corner radius. However, flute count is a critical aspect that should not be overlooked. In conclusion, choosing the right flute count for your machining operation can make a big difference in your performance. By understanding the trade-offs between different flute counts and considering the specific needs of your application, you can make an informed decision and achieve the best results possible. So, happy milling, and we hope this information has been helpful.